Hello, good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, it's Wendy here from Wendy's Crafting and I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I thought today I would show you how I play. I'm okay, I play good, I'm a good girl when I play, I don't cheat, but uh, I thought I'd show you dread about what I do when I'm having a... What am I going to do today? Oh, I know what, I'll do this day. So that's, that's the wrong one to start, start off with. Ah, here we go. Now then, I'm using this tree from Stro... Stro? From Stro... From, now I've got no idea how this is going to turn out. So it could be exciting and it could be a flop. So where's my big... <laughs> I know that's a bit of an overkill of a block, but it's the first time, first thing I, uh, I got my hands on. Now then, I've been trying to think what colour <coughs> I want to stamp the tree at. Oh, my voice has got all funny. So I got a bit of paper, or I get a bit of paper. <coughs> I don't really want to do it black because, I, you know, I just want to keep it black. I always find it a bit near. And trees aren't always black, are they? So here I have got e -e -e soft suede and I guess one piece of paper and I just dabby, dab dab dabby. Eee, that's dark. So that's just, it doesn't look like that on the outside, does it? And you know, well, maybe you don't know me in colour, but I'm slightly colour blind, so colour is a big challenge to me. Right, I go there. And that, let's leave that one dry a bit, shall we? Because I've got a feeling that, I mean, they're drying very quick because it's quite warm in here. Um, and what I've done as well, I've been playing with my colour wheel. Oh, I've forgotten one. That's it. One, 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 one. Oh, can't get them out of these things. Right, I'm going to try crush curry. So once again, I get a scrap of paper. I know we're in the spring, but I just want to make it autumnal, oh, autumnal picture. So, looked at you and I thought, oh, good, red, orange, red, orange, and yellow orange. So I've got Cajun praise. Clips of coral, pumpkin pie, and I've just pulled in a uh, crushed curry. So, this is where I'm going to be careful now and put things back. Shut the lid and stuff when I've finished. So, that's crushed curry. And that. Come on, I know you're there. Oh, so far so good, eh? Another piece of paper. This is only plain. Cheap old copy paper. Any paper really so that you can just do a little dip dab in there. Well, so far it's looking good. And now this is the uh, 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 Cajun Greys. Got a bit of Cajun K's on Cajun J's, Cajun Cajun Craze. <laughs> Did we? And this is Clips and Coral. Oops. Oh, that's a bit dry by the feel of it. And that's the red. So, in a way, we have got the red. Red. Um. Red, orange, red, orange, and yellow. It's 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 this somewhere. All of them is fine. Right, now then I'm gonna be a good girl and tidy up as I go along. Where's my drink gone? Ah, there it is. I got a piece of paper, a piece of card here. If I could find my tape, my ruler, oh, 
I thought it was so organised as well. Oh well, I'll have to get my big one out. I won't be mounting. I won't be mounting this on the card. I shall do that after I finish. Otherwise, we're going to be here till supper time. I can't miss supper, you know. It's important for me. Right, this is thirteen and a half by ten and a quarter. But what I will do is. Oh, God. That's about the normal size cards. Yeah, but if it doesn't fit, you see, I can cut a little bit extra off there, so it doesn't really matter. Actually, that, that yellow would be a bad colour, would it? Too? Um, do we need me jinx it? Right, I think I'm going to go for the... Where have I put it? The chocolate chip, if I could... Oh, here we go. Could put them there. So right, I'm only using this once, so that's fine. I'm going to use the chocolate chip now. And like I said, I'm using the tree, this big tree from Snowfront. But oh, but you could use any tree. I mean, this is excellent because it's got um. It hasn't got any leaves. So things with no leaves are good. Trees with no leaves are even better. Right. Just get that off of there a bit. Right, and I'm going to try and <laughs> centre this as best as I can. Can you see that? Yes, you can. Good. If I move it over a little bit. Right. And I know I've got a splotch on there already. Should we turn it over? Yes. Here we are. I'll do it this way now. Now, get it middling. It doesn't have to be smack bang in the middle, but as middling as you can get middle to be middle. So what I'm doing, I'm looking here, here, here and here, that they're all around the same um, space between them. I put my, there we go. I put my phone in my in my bedroom underneath um, underneath my duvet cover. So if I get a phone call, you won't be able to hear me. No, I've done this. I'm getting this piece out again because I, I you can see there's still quite a lot of uh, of brown there. Depress a bit. Hmm. Interesting, isn't it? Hmm. Don't worry about that little bit there. I'm, I'm not too worried about that. I, I think what I did was I, I just chopped a little bit too much off the, the stamp. Right, there we go. Now then, that's probably the... Oh, dear, these are... You see, I'm trying to be careful. <laughs> if, I don't, if I don't try to be careful, then... Woohoo! Everything goes right, but if I'm being careful when I'm doing a, video, a tutorial, no, that does not go very right at all. So, now then, um, where is my, oh, my little titty brush, look, little titty brush, I like these titty brush. Right, this is like, um, I'll put that one to one side. This is like uh, peg stamping. Peg stamping with blocks rather than because they usually have the um, ah, usually got these tubes, but stamping up don't sell them, so uh, I'm using some various blocks instead. And of course, if you've got the tubes and they work for you, then fine, you can use them, but because stamping up don't sell them, I don't want to, um, I don't know how to. Uh, Advertise, advocate, or whatever. Whatever it is, I don't want to do. <laughs> right, now that I've got my little brush, and I've got this stamp first, and what I'm going to do, a little... Now I'm going to get confused about these colours, aren't I? 
Right, I'm using a bit of clips of coral in there. De -de 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 -de. And then a bit of Cajun craze. And clean it off. Oh, I just remembered I've forgotten something. <laughs> and a bit like that. Now, what I have forgotten to do is you get a little pencil and line it up. Because what I did was I stamped the image. Then what I did, I went up to the, uh, onto my brother's scan and cut. And I designed, well, not designed, I took a oval out and I made it a size. So if you very likely, just go around like that. Very lightly, like I said, I don't know whether you can see that, but uh, just to give you a guide, <coughs> just to give you a guide as to where to go, because you don't really want to go inside that. So, here we go. One. Saying you're not going to go, what do I do? Of course I go inside. And I just keep doing that with um with the various colors so you've got a bit of light dark like i said don't worry about that because it, it can be it can be um redo be jigsies whatever it's called i can rub the line out but what i don't want you to do is um, do it too too close to the actual tree. So uh, constantly adding various little bits and bobs. When you do this, turn your stamp as well so that it's going in all different directions. So you can see here, I haven't got I haven't got enough yellow on this, so I'm going to get my yellow. Just put a bit more yellow in there. Well, I hope you're all dry and safe because uh, this weather has been funny, isn't it? I mean, in Arbeth, we don't we don't get very much snow, and if we're going to get snow, then it's usually quite heavy snow we get. Um, but uh, we had a little bit the other day, but. I'm just wondering, can you see me doing that? No, I can see me doing that there though. I'm scrubbing it, oops. Oh well, I'm just scrubbing it off on the back end of that because I've already got the uh, the circle I've got ma mapped out on the, on the scanning cut so I don't have to worry about um, it's not being on there again. <laughs> this is where it could get tricky. I don't think I've got it quite in the middle, have I? Oh well. What are you doing? I'm just going to use that. See that you can't see them. We'll try and bring them like that. <laughs> This is the yellowy bit going on. And that side, brushing it off, put a bit of the clips of coral or whatever it's called. Yep. On there. They're trying to wipe your brush off so that you're not contaminating them. I mean, now and again, you will get to, you know, you, you forget to do it. I mean, I forgot to do it earlier on and I went dip, dip, dip. Dip, dip, dab, dab. I mean, I, I've seen some very clever people. They could go blum, blum, without having to use a brush. Unfortunately, you know me and I'm not among those clever people that can do these things yet. 
But I'll get there slowly and shortly. I'll get there. There we go. Stamp it again. We've come round now to stamp in the middle there. Turn it round a bit because I want a little bit of it to go in there. And I think that's good there. Now then, let me just clean off my brush with a bit of tissue. And okay, because that stamp was this one here. Um, I can't use anything too big, can I? So let's try and see how these fit. Right, so that is going to fit in this. So, oh dear, <laughs> this is the fourth one I've got out. So what I'm going to do, see now I have four corners, just check that, that it's, yeah, now I'm going to, oops, daisy, that's why you should never use um, tissue paper, always try and have, um, what are they called? You know the kitchen towels. Uh, look, oh dear me, my brain just won't work with it today. The um, yeah, you know kitchen towel, the the big stuff that you have. I haven't done that one yet today. Ah, uh, I've got confused now. Right, I haven't done that one yet. So I shall. Stand up to do this would be easier. That one, and now that which one haven't I done? What does that one look like? Done that one. That's the one I haven't done. Oh dear, I'm getting messy. Here we are, so I've got four there. Look at this. Oh, dear, dear, dear. Right, so there's a few little bits more now, um, and I think we will be done. I think we better have a bit of green in there as well, hadn't we? So if I... Where's that other one gone? Sure can't, I can't see for looking, as they say. I'm looking for the... Ah, oh, there we are. That one. Um... Will it fit on this little block? Yes, it will. And I'm going to go now and get my favourite, my old olive, because when the leaves are changing colour, you do actually get some. Um, yeah, my dear. Yeah, you get some green leaves also, because they don't all come at the same time, do they? So we're going to do that. Oh, let me think. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Like I said, sorry about this, but I am just playing. <sighs> ah, come out, come out. Wherever you are. Right. Right, clean that off a bit, and I have now got Old Olive, Pipsas, and Call Me Clover. I think Call Me Clover might be a little, little bit too strong, um, but we'll wait and see. I'm not going to rub that off completely, because it does look nice. So I'm going to go again, like I did, a bit of this, wipe it off. And then I'm going to stamp over them. See what I mean? I'm just sort of spreading it out a bit. Yeah, I think that could be a bit too much. That uh, uh, 
Got me clover. Yeah, and I say do some double stamping because, as you probably know, I say this every time, but if you're, um, if you want any depth to your picture or your project that you're working for, from, on, project you're working on, then you really do need a bit of, um, near and far perspective I think that's what they call it uh, so you need that little bit um, of perspective and when you're stamping well the the things that are at the front they look darker and then the things at the back then they sort of go into um, they just blend in together because they're far away you can't see them so you just, as you can see here I hope we can still see here. Yeah, as you can see here, you see those light leaves look like they're further back. If I do it like this, then you're. Uh, and then, what I will be doing, I will be finding the cards that will go. With these colours, with all these colours, and I'll mount it on there. You'll see I'm doing it again, aren't I? But sometimes with green, do you know, yeah, sometimes with green, as you know yourself, if you're working with green, and it doesn't seem to mind if it gets contaminated, because it's just all sort of, but when you do another colours, like I did with this one, and when you go to stamp again, well, that is when it does matter if it's contaminated. But green, I've decided it doesn't matter if, if you contaminate the green. Don't shout at me because I expect a lot of you people will be saying, "Well, no, 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 don't do it." But it's just the way I like to. I like to work like that. So very casual. Uh, always like a bit of fun. And uh, that is Wendy all over, that is. There we go. I'm now going to rub out all the bits of the, the pencil marks, rub all them out, and I shall be taking a photograph of the finished card, and I'll show you that. It'll be on the thumbnail of this video. So thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you all soon. Bye.